Today, we will be presenting our project on the Yangtze River and the devastating floods of 1911, 1954, and 1998. During 1911, a major flood killed over 100,000 people and 40 million were relocated. The major cause of this incident was the highly saturated soil, leaving no room for any excess water during the monsoon season. Most houses were made out of wood and were easily demolished in the onslaught of rain and water. Flooding was not a priority in the past, and the government maintained its view that it was a freak accident, and they made no development of dikes and levees to prevent further damage. The flooding of 1954 was the worst in the recent chain of flooding patterns. Compared to the flooding of 1911, houses were built much more solidly and structures and communications were more sound. However, the death toll remained higher due to the increase of riverside industries and habitats. The Chinese government's response was to evacuate millions and prevent casualties, despite the huge number of deaths. Some reports estimate the number to be as high as 300,000 people. The main cause of this flood was the extremely long rain season as well as the unusually high I volume of rain in the rain. After the flood, there were no development in areas of water management except for the enhanced forecasting systems and warning systems. In 1998, the damage caused was nowhere near as severe as the previous two floods, but it certainly had an effect on not only the local community, but the government. After another extended period of unusually heavy rain and the development and construction of dams and roads, the water was overflowing and there was nowhere for it to go, so the water level rose and submerged cities for up to three months. It seems as though the Chinese government has not learned this lesson. Dams and unregulated riverside roads are being built which will also worsen the problem. There are four different layers of rock in the Yangtze River Basin. There is normally a tiny bit of loose soil that is very easy to erode. After the top layer has been eroded, it reveals saturated soil that is already full of water and there's nowhere for else for it to go. Under there are both permeable and impermeable layers of rock. There are a number of overarching factors that contribute to the Yangtze River floods, one of which is the El Nino effect. Through its many stages in its cycle, it can alter the amount of rainfall and the temperature of regions around the world. The warm water from the Pacific cools down China. This effect was amplified due to the fact the El Nino effect was at the tip of its 40 to 60 year cycle. This meant that there was, in every case, extended periods of torrential rain. Another reason the flooding was so bad was because of the steep inclines along the river. The water was not able to infiltrate the soil due to the fact that the inclines were so steep. This is called the heat. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I knew that you were going to give me